Hi everyone, welcome to Chef Mooney coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen and this is my studio kitchen. We're in the middle of uh, setting all of this up. There's a few things that need to come into place, a little oven and that sort of thing. But I wanted to do my first video in here today because the whole idea of setting this kitchen up is I can control the light. In my other kitchen it's, it's dark and light and, and as everybody knows with YouTube, um, if you have very low costs in your lighting and so on, you've got to kind of rely on um, different aspects of the sunlight and, 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 and so on. And it can get unpredictable and sometimes you just can't film because it's too dark. So I've set up this uh, test kitchen, this um, studio kitchen. There's a lot more stuff to go in, but I want to get started today with a video because I don't want to miss out uh, on sharing a beautiful recipe with you. Now at the back here I've got all my ingredients ready to go. We're going to go through those in a moment. I'm going to make this beautiful vegetarian dish. We've got three cheeses going into here. We've got feta cheese, a bocconcini, a parmesan cheese. We've got um, tomato, lovely fresh herbs, fresh dill. It's going to be a delicious dish. So let's get cooking in my new kitchen and we'll see how we go. Okay, to start this recipe, what I've got here is a 9x9 nine nine baking tin. I've lined the bottom with some greaseproof paper and I've lightly greased it and I've dusted some lovely polenta in there. So that's step one. Then all you need to do is get all your other ingredients ready. We've got zucchini, we've got some beautiful parmesan cheese, we're going to add um, a cup of self-raising flour, half a cup of olive oil, We've got some lovely cherry tomatoes there, five eggs, we're going to add some bocconcini, a little bit of feta cheese, and over here I've got my herbs, so I'm going to add some dill, a little bit of basil, and some chopped chives. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I've got my zucchini here, 500 grams of zucchini, I'm going to put that in. I'm going to add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, five eggs, and you just want to give this a bit of a mix around. And then we're going to simply add the rest of the ingredients. It's very simple. Once you've got everything chopped and prepared, it's such an easy dish to do. I'm going to add 150 grams of lovely Parmesan cheese and just give that a mix. And now we just toss in the rest of our ingredients. I've got a, a cup of chives. I'm just going to sprinkle those in. I've got some fresh basil, probably about two tablespoons, and I've got some uh, some dill here. I'm just going to give that a bit of a chop and toss that in. We're going to add one cup of self-raising flour and just make sure that it's really well combined. I've got about 150 grams of feta cheese. I'm just going to break that up, give it a good mix. It's going to go into our 9x9 nine nine tray. Now I haven't put any salt in here because there's enough seasoning with the cheese. Okay, just give it a bit of a gentle tap. So I've got some lovely um, tomatoes here. I'm just going to slice them. And we're just going to pop them on the top. Sprinkle with the remainder of your feta cheese. I've got some lovely bocconcini here. I'm just going to slice it. Finishing off with a little bit of parmesan. Over the top. Touch more fresh dill. Give it that bit of colour. It smells incredible already and it's not even cooking. Okay, so this is going to go into a preheated oven set at 180 degrees Celsius. And you need to let it cook for about 45 to 50 minutes and it needs to be a little bit springy on the top so you don't want it sort of gluggy or anything it needs to sort of bounce back a little bit it's very similar to a frittata but uh, this is just a beautiful pie I'm gonna get it into the oven and let's see how it comes out okay so here it is it's come out of the oven it's got that nice spongy texture on the top it looks amazing and it smells absolutely fabulous I can't wait to slice into this but we have to let it cool down so I've let it cool down a little bit it's just 
a really nice delicious vegetarian option let's have a little taste mm, really nice beautiful flavors with those cheeses go perfect with a salad absolutely delicious guys Thanks for watching my channel. I hope you give this recipe a try. Don't forget to share it with your friends. It's a really nice light recipe. It's lovely for spring and summer. It's also good for winter as well. I hope you enjoy it. Until my next recipe, you take care and have yourselves a great week. See ya.